Exactly, I'm quite curious. Let's check on Tari. She's very curious. Oh, there you go. Hello, Christine. Like your hat. I folded it myself, my mother taught me. Oh, you did a very good job. Just to know how to fold some things out of paper, not sure I remember anymore, though. Okay, how are you doing, Tony? There's a lady here. Oh, that's my daughter, Christina. Like I always say, it's good to have some company now and then, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Oh, the box is back. This is lovely. I think I hired. <laughs> I think I hired Dojo to help with this recent hallucination. Yeah, more drugs, of course. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating. This is all real. All the drugs. Kisaburo, you cannot keep doing this. Ah, why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there, and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. <laughs> you can keep tracking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. Little Kanji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we are doing all we can do to help you right now. It's gonna fix the train. Damn, we're stealthy as hell. Nobody's noticing us. Oh, hey, kid. Seems you are the only one who listened to me. Please stay. Everyone else think I'm completely lost it. What? What's up? What are you talking about? Why do you go outside? The doctor think it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send the message. I have to send the message. A huge message. Uh, tell me more about folks here. What's up? No feeling so great. It's got a job to do, but no one here let me do it. My supervisor expect to fix the man engine. I cannot do that if I take keep taking away my tools. Um, that's rough. We simply travel back and check on Kizabura from the other world. I also need a key, uh, pickaxe, right? Can we help you? I need to ask him for help, but, uh, but seeing as how Morizora commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Katsuko, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if the cats would go have a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden. Do you think you could visit her around our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course, we'll help out however we can. Thank you so much, it really means a lot to both of us. Oh, hello, welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can I help you? Uh, can we help you out? You want to help? You mean like looking for a job? Well, not exactly. The husband uh, Kisaburo asked me as, uh, ask us to uh, see if you needed anything. He actually said what to do. He actually said that to you. Uh, to a kid? <laughs> well, that's what yeah. Well, well, I guess um, I could use some help with a couple of things. Business has been slower these days. I guess they feel a lot safer if we could get out just one more big tea contract. Um, the co contract? Tea contract? We have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Bard and he holds a regular tea events that require a lot of tea. I'm sure if I could bring him in a sample, he'd be our customer in all time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I cannot really leave the store right now. That's rough. If I could leave, it's also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. Sure. Ah, uh, he, yeah, uh, whatever. Oh, good eyes. Indeed, Ahikari Bana. She's grown quite a bit, however, I don't think she will bloom without the dragon ash. Anyways. So you really like to help? Sure, yeah, okay, then uh, it will be too much to ask you to go into my place. Wouldn't it be better if you go instead and we take care about, care about the shop? I think that would be much, much better idea plan. We love to! <clears throat> I received gold on midnight tea. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally, the entrance of her cave uh, gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy. Stormy? And she a uh, great water dragon. A water dragon? Try not to be intimidated. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I have killed so many of their kind. Good luck and thanks again! You're welcome. So, I guess we have to unlock the pickaxe, but I don't have the material if I'm not wrong. So Skyland it is? Where, where am I? <laughs> I died. Oh, look at them go. 
It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm no longer one to live by myself on that island. I really enjoy spending time with my daughter and crowd kids. Cubs. Thank you for giving me back something I thought I was gone forever. But that is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing something that was so important to both of us. Uh, okay, so I believe we have to go... Huh? Huh? No, I'm the wrong place. I forgot how to reach the Skyland. I remember there was another one, but where was it? Oh my god, I forgot where was it. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Why my brain stopped working? Anyway, welcome back to Skyland. Uh, we finally can go somewhere. Remember where? Hello? Ah! Are you okay? My unholy dream mod just hit level 20 52! Wait, what are you and what are you doing in the sacred cult Talaksh catacombs of Adum? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, he's an outsider. Eat his dreams! No, wait. Do you even know who he is? You're talking to a high level warrior from Plains of the Sendai. <laughs> Okay, mom. That's an enchanted blade that was given to him by the great dragon Lactor. What is going on? Show him some respect. Oh, oh, oh our apologies. Please forgive us. I'm still playing Dungeon Draw. You're all at one. You did that on purpose. I told you to put more points into luck. Okay, mom saved the day from two nerds. Fair enough. And nothing happened. And we left as we got in. Anyway, we can finally enter into the tea land. Hello! I'm here for rocks! Juicy rocks! If I stand right here, doesn't doesn't it kind of look like I have a tree growing out of my head? Please go yawning all the flowers. Oh my, tables have turned. Yeah, totally. Have you ever heard that the Libra artist who had created a remarkable tea set model after Skybots? He's gorgeous. I believe he's one of the other floating islands. We should check it out to get the chance. Is that important? Do I have to? This may be important or not. Hello. Reach for the sky! Work of those calories! Okay. So someone is doing gym things. I'll check this cave. Okay. Oh, wow. Flower marble. I was so confident we found all the marbles we there were. They were! So we could stop talking with Sue. I guess I was wrong. Probably more choo choo peanut necessary. Because the vending machine sold out. Bloody heck. Hello, I'm here for the tea. Are you looking for Monsieur Boo afternoon tea? Uh, sure. Yes? Just of this there, so enjoy your song. Alfred. I didn't get you this job so that you could just goof off all day. First the stink bomb, and now this preposterous drawing. Maxwell Howell II, you stop this behavior at once. <laughs> My name is Lil Bart, not Maxwell. Lil Bart, why? What? Why in the... You are acting like a hooligan. <laughs> Lil Bart's not my Maxwell. Now nah, you're gonna chill me. You're gonna be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But Dad, I'm serious. You mess up one more time, you're grounded. Now, come with me and behave yourselves. <laughs> you have the job to do. Yes, did. Wow, Mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This must be where was the bell is. that you, little buds? Sugar Baby. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Wait, Sugar Baby? You're the one that pushed sugar into tea? Are you... What is your existence? Put sugar into tea. <laughs> Are you gonna stay for the Monsieur afternoon tea? Yeah, sure. Rupert? Sugar baby? Sugar baby? Yes, Rupert? More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no, what did they take this time? A little Monsieur absolute fair dish. Bacon and pulled apart, still in big crumble. <laughs> Not to crumble! Yeah, sugar baby, they took it to crumble. <laughs> no! You must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. What are these outsiders? Oh, these folks, they are, um, they're from, um, um, they're, they're, they're my cousins! 
from another mother, another father, <laughs> and another species. Uh, cousin? Sure. Your cousins? Oh yeah, my cousins! They're totally cool. They, uh, I've known them my whole life. Huh. Well, I guess if they are your probably cousin, she'll probably be okay. You don't... Uh, but you better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yeah, of course, Rupert. Why he lied about us? Phew, that was close. My name is Sugar Baby. Well, my real name is actually Eat. <laughs> well, my real name is just Eat. <laughs> uh, everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. <laughs> you guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met a creature from across the Grey Sea before. Wow. So huge. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. Arms have... Yeah, your arms have five little arms grow yeah, growing out of the hands of your arms. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> five small arms. You have a brown grass growing out of the top of your head. Brown? So cool! <laughs> brown grass? <laughs> so what brings you guys to most here, but we were hoping to might try to, uh, some of this specialty. It's the best thing in all the forest. Oh, the Monsieur loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh wait, huh? Boogies, are you okay? Normally it will be easy, but there's a light problem. And we have a kettle. As you probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. And uh, until we figure out who's the thief, Robert, my boss, he's not gonna let anyone near the Monsieur. Sorry guys. Unless. We do some detective job and find the thief. My money's on home again. Maybe you guys could help us find the thief. We are short staff today, so I bet you could get your guys' job here. You mean we got to work here? Sure. It is big mansion. Why do you look so happy? It's pretty easy. People ask for tea, and you deliver it. Straightforward, eh? Please, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cakes, sandwiches, and syllabary jam. You name it. That sounds great. I bet since you are new, the boss will love to gossip about you. Just uh, do a good job and they'll talk with you and they'll tell you stuff. I bet you could get all sorts of information that way. If you all can help me, uh, if you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the Monsieur will drink your tea. What to do, you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could get uh, you that job, no problem. Let's do this then. Okie dokie, can we meet? First we gotta ask Rupert if we <laughs> if he'll hire us. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Rupert! I have detective skills. <laughs> a skill that I learned in a long career. Hey, Rupert. Yes, it better be important. Uh, it is. I have a great news. Ah, uh, you found the crumble thief? Not quite, but it's still good. You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Ah, uh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short staffed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousin can take their place. Your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do you even have any experience with the waiting tables or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why were they sc <laughs> where they gone from? They're practically famous for serving tea. Oh boy. We're really good at serving tea. <laughs> per hot water, that's it. <laughs> well, now that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about? Are you serving ceremonial grade matcha or just premium? <laughs> Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dry silver berries? Or oh, certainly hope you are keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180? Hmm, I suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that awesome you have. And good choice with a pu- will help to balance the happiness of this dessert. Very well. <laughs> Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yeah, yeah. If anything goes wrong, I'm uh, holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the rooms. Yes, yeah, all. I will play a mini game now. And since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf plants. Alfred? Uh, yes, sir. We have a new leaf specialist to fill for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and associate that uh, she knows where all of the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, yeah, sire. Right, is my way, mom. Mom? You can do it, mom. I know I can. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Have fun out there. <laughs> you too. Not all. 
Is that a flower pot of marshmallows? Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform now and serve the tea. The guests are waiting. Yes, I am. <laughs> My room is just up ahead. I mean, uh, I'm so excited to get to work here. It's gonna be so much fun. So much fun! So are we doing some sort of a uh, game, mini game of uh, giving tea? You can wear a lesser uniform uh, over there on the bed. There is a bow tie in the bed. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure. And I grow a little bit bigger. Get to wear the road po <laughs> bow tie too. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and get a change. I'll meet you back in the server quarters. I'm sorry, I kind of realized now. He's a sugar baby like a small child. <laughs> so basically, this is like... Mm, child labor. <laughs> That's the room where Ruber is and the free is out. <laughs> uh, see you soon, my new buddy. I'm sure. <laughs> Me and my apron. Oh, cheese. Second powder white wigs. Money. Stack of books. Oh. Wig with me, why powders and why wigs are no longer just for the 18th century composer? <laughs> the D5 bot, five easy step that will take you from uncouth dot to gentle bot. Pink man don't bloom, a guide to being a perfect gentle bot. See? It requires a lot of training and a lot of readings to be a gentle bot. You think it's that easy just to be a gentle bot? You know? He trains. He reads. Uh, what? NHB. <laughs> Concert poster? I for I forgot their name. NHB. Oh, you look sharp. Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guys if they want tea. If they do want tea, try to find out which kind of tea they like, then come back to this room to grab the tea from them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that'll help you find out the food thief. The food thief? Over here are the different kinds of tea, pour so someone into your cup and bring it to them. Easy right? But remember you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring the guests the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. <laughs> Got it? Ah, more mini game. Why don't you practice on Rupert, bring him a cup of his fairy tea. The Silla Berry special, which one is it? And uh, one more thing, I don't know which one is which. See this sink up here? Yup. If you are to get the wrong tea and you are still here, you can just pour it out into the sink. Got it! Okay, go bring Rupert that Silla very special tea. So which one is which? Apricot vanilla. Sweet vanilla black tea. No. Rose with almond. Tabu tam A taboo blend of black tea and rose petals, known for the faint of heart. No. Is this a Silla berry special? Yup. <laughs> Sounds like taking a piss. You are now clearing cup of Silla Berry Special. Did I simply give it? What now? This has to be a bit more tons. Yes. Is this the Silla Berry Special you brought me? Delicious. They should have made some sound effect in it. The slurping sound of of tea. Yeah, you did it! If you excuse me, I have to attend some important business. Sugar baby! Fuji? Like the apple, <laughs> like the apple. Many to the party rooms, I'll be there if you need me. Good luck and stay out of trouble. Yes, sire. You are all ready. The party's been to help to rooms to your left. Now get out of there and serve some tea. Sure. I trust that the bums are warm this time. Yes, sir, my uh, Mr. Ribbit. Uh, yes, warm bums. <laughs> Good, because we don't serve cold buns here. Yeah. <laughs> cool buns. What the heck? Yeah! You there! What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm out of here! Wait, what did you do? Get back up here now! Is that the Monopoly guy? What the grumble? No! What? Jesus Christ, you fucking explode! <laughs> the tea party will be ruined! Just take down the poster, you crazy Rupert. Can I take it out? Can I get you any tea today? Oh, uh, tea separate looking for trying something bold. Oh dear, not tea again. Excuse me? How bold do you need to be, Nettie? I mean, you're already wearing a hat that has flowers on it. 
What's wrong with flowers, my dear? We are flowers. Your point? Oh, that gives me a fantastic idea. Tea server, could you please bring me a tea that has some sort of flowers in it? God oh, goodness. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> hey, who doesn't like a little dirt in their tea every now and then? Sure. Can I get you any tea? Bad child. Ma'am, say I'm too young for tea, but that's okay. Or lucky anyway. Somebody get my favorite. Do you want some tea? I have a plenty of tea right here, thank you. I do, however, wish someone will refill to the bowl. The dirt bowl? You have a dirt bowl? I mean, who doesn't like a bit of dirt in their tea now and then? <laughs> dirt? Mm, dirt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not dirt. It's like, mmm, dirt. <laughs> okay, okay. Go get your dirt. Where do I find dirt, actually? The party's being held in the room, okay, you lad. Now get out of there. Where do I get some dirt? Probably gotta get out of the kitchen. Oh, do you bring me something bold? Yes. Please enjoy. Oh, this is just perfect. The aroma, the subtle sweetness. It's so taboo. Disgusting. Oh, Minerva, have a little. Ah, we have cousin who are roses. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck you just served them? <laughs> You decided to serve tea to a cast. It's like serving like <laughs> bone throat with human bones. Is it a good tea? Such a delightful tea server you are. Ah, oh, you're too generous with praise, Natty. Don't give him a big head now. Although, this child is uh, worlds better than Maxwell. Is worlds? Maxwell? Don't you mean little birds? <laughs> ah, is that what the little hooligan is calling himself nowadays? Little birds? He's a hooligan, end of story. His father was kind enough to get him a job working here, but the child doesn't appreciate it. He runs around playing practical jokes on folks, putting frogs in teapots and drawing grass things on the wall. You were up to me, the child will be sent away into a boarding school in the lands of the cave parts. Can I get you tea today? Oh, I'm quite full of the moment, so no tea was absolutely delicious though. Uh, the bounds on the other hand were a bit uh, on the cold side. Oh, rough. Where do I find dirt? Where the fun do? Candy cup poor, earthy poor blender with sweet maple candy cup uh, mushroom. Uh, no. I believe it's this one. But I don't think. Th didn't they say they didn't want any tea? Eh, where do I find dirt? Dirt! Dirt! I believe it's this. There's more, right? There must be more. Oh, there you go. Dun, 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 dun. Can I get you some tea today? No, thank you. I'm just analyzing a piece of art of these walls. You think that Monsieur longs to dance the way those are all two out dancing in the lighthouse? Yes. Following. Can I get you some tea? No, thank you. I'm quite content on these little sandwiches. Can I get you tea today? Oh, no, no. I'm not interested in the desserts. Actually, um, are you okay? I had three donuts. Oh, that's a lot of donuts. And half an apple pie. Like half of a whole pie? A uh, cheese plate, a box of chocolates, <laughs> three more donuts, and a hamburger. So six. Oh my gosh. They have burgers here? <laughs> they have burgers in here? You gotta help me, man. This moment is not okay. I'll try my best. Is there something I can get for you? Uh, well, I think I'll. I mean, pay because I eat too many eight fatty foods. Have a tea that will keep the cat the fat a bit, you know, balance the happiness. Um, uh, I got it. Mom said a pure tea. Pure tea helps balance the out the happiness of the dessert. A pure tea, that's what I need. Bring me some of that. Please. Uh, do you know my petals go stretch this much? Sure. Please enjoy it. Oh, sweet relief. That's what's gonna be okay. You successfully served tea to a guest. Oh, now I know how Monsieur Bad must feel. What do you mean by that? Well, rumor has it as back in the day, when Monsieur wasn't yet such an impressive size. He was dating one of the regulars here, and about named Minerva. Minerva? She's cranky, wears a hat with a black bow, I think she's in the other room right now. Anyways, the Monsieur ate so much and grew so big and so tall that he could no longer see or hear her. And that was the end of that relationship. Well, okay. Better enough. His music is so good! Oh, hey, bud. How you doing? Hey, you're working here now, too? Yeah, it's my first day on the job. Welcome aboard. One warning, though. This place is weird. Yeah. What do you mean? You'll see. 
Yeah, it's pretty weird. Sometimes I like to change things up to play something more upbeat. The danger is that is that bots can start blooming when the music is too good. Blooming? What do you mean by blooming? You know, our pets open when turning to flower. And let me tell you, bots do not have like that. Do not like that. And let me tell you, bots do not like that. A blue bots is considered uncaught. Around here, uncaught? You're not a god anymore. You're in the high society? Can I get you any tea? It's about time someone came to type my order. The last tea was not nearly strong enough for me. I'm looking for a black tea, perhaps something with fruit? Sure. Spendy party, wouldn't you say? I think my favorite thing is the ones here about out of work. Uh, he just uh, has such a striking feature, don't you think? Um, sure. Oh my god, he's huge. <laughs> The Monsieur is huge. I believe it's this one. Apricot vanilla, bright flavor of seasoned apricot pear. Nicely with a sweet vanilla black tea. Sure. But isn't uh, apricot... Uh, yeah, isn't apricot like a... Wait, what is apricot? Isn't like a... No, that is an acorn. What is an apricot? I forgot. Is it like a subspecies of a pear? I forgot what, what apricot is. Oh no! I thought it was a acorn, an apricot. Am I wrong? Oh, I have to Google it. God dang it. There we go, Saya. Oh, you're bringing me a good fruit flavor black tea? Yes. Please enjoy. Yes, it's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Yeah, to see ever you look like a bright young fellow with a functioning eyes. Tell me something, will you? Oh, uh, sure. It is just me or is there an apple working here? Yes. An apple? Yes, an apple. You meant Fuji? An apple who has clearly painted himself pink in an attempt to look like a sky bot, but he's not fooling me. Oh, he's, he's dodging away. He's all on talking about his apple conspiracy theories again. He's an apple! Sure, sure, and I'm a banana. Ah, you think the apple is stealing? Fuji, are you stealing from everyone? Oh, that's what an apricot is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know what is an apricot now. Fuji! Oh, I cannot move past here. What the heck? What is this? What is this? Fuji! Fuji! I trust you are enjoying the Monsieur special tea bottle? Wow, what? Wow, is that the Monsieur? He's Hodge! He's really big! Can I help you? Um, can I meet the Monsieur? I'm afraid not. As you may know, the thief has been stealing food from the Monsieur du parties. Some matter of grave importance. After all, if this thief was able to steal the prize jewel of the party, the peck can pull apart the syllabary crumble. Oh, we? Oui? Crumble? Oh, he, yeah, so he's already running smoothly. No need to for that. Ah, it is a disaster. As I was saying, if the thief was able to steal something so important, who knows what they are capable of. So I'm very sorry, but I cannot allow anyone to see the Monsieur until this criminal is found so dangerous. Boy, can I... I cannot... I cannot move past here. No, god dang it. Do I need to find dirt? Dirt? I believe it's Fiji, right? It must be Fiji. I already talked with everyone. No, no, if I have still to speak to someone else. Dun, dun. You did a great job today. Time to turn to you guys. Can I leave my room today? You would show him. Um, hey there. How are you? Um, I'm good. Woke up this morning, brewed my skybar petals, ate a traditional skybar breakfast, read a book on skybar history. You know, typical things that a typical skybar will do. <laughs> good, I'm good. Um, uh, is that big paint? That pink paint running down your back. Oh, you like asking questions about things, huh? Love things, that's great, things are great, questions are totally great. Just kinda looks like there's a pink paint on your back. Oh no, that's not paint, that's uh, lotion. Pink lotion, you know, for my petals. <laughs> All sky bats use it. <laughs> uh, oh, you even, I'll even try. I think my mind wants to talk with you, oh sure. How was your day? Very fun. I've never seen so many tea supplies all my life. I had barrels upon barrels of tea, leaves pieces of fruit and chocolate. Dry flowers and my eyes, bottle scents from all over the world, fresh cream. It was fantastic, Alfred let me invent, let me invent several new blends. 
And that was a pleasure, man. Uh, you are without any doubt a true tea specialist. Everyone told me that you did. Oh, yeah, sure. Ready for bed? Sounds good. I'm exhausted. Your mom is amazingly talented at creating new bland tea. It was a pleasure working with her. Sure. I don't think there's anything more important now. Magwai confident that the Fiji or Fuji. Hi guys, is the culprit. You can sleep here for tonight. But where will you sleep? I cannot I can stay with Rupert tonight. He's a little stressed out, so I think he'd benefit from my company anyway. You guys find out anything about the Futif yet? Hmm I got a few leads. Oh that's great, I knew I could count on you. Well then get some rest and I will continue our investigation into the morning. Wanna hop into the bed and I'll get the lights? Sure! Interesting, it's the first time we sleep uh, outside uh, the hospital. All set, I'm good. Or maybe are we still in the hospital? Hmm, probably. Good night, dear. Good night, mom. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I thought I thought it was like, wait a minute, is Yami gonna visit us in here too? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Mom, do you hear that? I did. Sounds like it came from the kitchen. I think we should go investigate. Okay. 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 Hello. Oh Jesus Christ. What was that? I don't know, dear, but it sounds like it was coming from up ahead. Should we keep going? We gotta press on it if we want to find what is the thief really is. Sure. What the heck? It's Monsieur. All along. Holy shit, that fridge is huge. That's the biggest refrigerator I've ever seen. Ah, oh, what is in there? I don't know, dear, but you better stay close to me. Oh! <laughs> oh, yee! <laughs> Goodness gracious! Monsieur, have you been sleep eating again? Oh, yee! So it was the monsieur all along. Mystery solved. I knew you guys could do it. Ah, well, I suppose that's a huge weight of my shoulder. <laughs> What's the monsieur all along? Oh, you're here. Well, we're really glad you could make it. Especially the monsieur. Oh, yee! Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yee? I think it's, I think it's this French one. Oh, we. Oui. We. Oui. In exchange for helping us as well, our little. Hee <laughs> hee. Maxwell? Sorry, Dad. We should love to repay you something, how? You know, we all sort of specialty item from around the world. So just say the word and it's yours. Well, there's one thing we really like. Oh? Oh, the Monsieur Trial Sample or oh, our tea? It's actually our friend Katsuko's tea. But it's the best tea in the whole forest. Hmm. The best tea, you see? While I find that incredibly difficult to believe, <laughs> I will permit the request. I agree with that, pending one thing. I will need to sample the tea first. You know, for safety reasons. Oh, but of course. We have to plenty to share. Well, in that case, I should be able to permit your request. Where is this tea of which you speak? Right here, sir. The power of income from the good night midnight tea. That flavor is so exotic. <laughs> so good! Oh, Jesus Christ. Robert? No, oh, don't worry, this happens a lot. he come back once he composes himself and grab another wig. He has more powder wigs than Bud Toven. Bud Toven? Oh, damn, Bud Toven. Uh -huh. Where was I? Oh yeah, so this tea is very high quality indeed. You have my permission to share it with Monsieur Bebedou. Oh we oui, new tea for me! Yes, Monsieur, very delightful blend from. Where is this tea from, again? It's from Katsuko at the Midnight Tea Shop. It's from the Midnight Tea Shop, sir. I love it, sir. You must get more. <laughs> Amazing. The Monsieur likes it. Needless to say, we are all very impressed. There's a show we will buy in lots of tea from the Midnight Tea Shop. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for patronage. Thank you. And your mother are both welcome here anytime. Thank you, Robert. I'm really gonna miss you guys. You're like, well, you're like the cousin I never had. <laughs> the cousin you never... Uh, the cousin that are my cousin. My real cousin. <laughs> oh, um, 
That's gonna be strange, okay? Convince is not anymore. Uh, you can stay in my room. Uh, and here's a little present that's something to remind you of the Skylands. Uh, Celestial Marble, lovely, thank you. Farewell, stranger. See you later, sugar baby. Okay, we, we managed to progress uh, a lot, I guess. Oh, we can build the pickaxe too. Um, wait, why do we need the pickaxe? I forgot. <laughs> With some rocks. Oh yeah, we needed a uh, Pokemon Ash, I mean uh, Dragon Ash, to, to get a hold on that um, thing, thingy. Hika, 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 Hikariku, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Hikariku Buri. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot the name of the plan. Let's go to Jackie then. We acquired a pickaxe. Now we can smash! Smash! I called smash. Like you will smash that like button, or that subscribe button. I believe you will definitely smash that button. Do it. Damn. The big ass dragon. Who brings you to my domain? Uh, whoa. What are you staring at, child? <laughs> child? I'm sorry, just i never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because uh, we are not very common around these parts. Ah, uh, you're so cool! Wow, yes, I know. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here, actually? Yeah, I'm a water dragon, so it's my job to regulate waterways and clouds. Try to keep everything balanced and make sure the forest gets the water it needs. Isn't that uh, what the, the Chinese dragon do? They take care of water. I can make dragon's ash if that's what you mean. I am a dragon, after all. How do you make it? <laughs> right from my head! Okay, it is hard to do. You are just uh, full of questions, aren't you, Childy? Sorry. That's quite right. Recognize is a byproduct of dragon's fire, of course. We all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. Ice, ice, baby. It's not difficult to do, however. Creating fire requires a lot of concentration. I mean, you are a water, f water dragon, so... Not probably something coming natural. Must be in balance. So, okay. I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed things around here, I have not been to balance lately. Besides increasing negative energy coming from the envoy, I guess that says something is blocking the flow of water. If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's uh, very bad. I know. Um, maybe you could help clear away whatever is blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us a zone dragon ash? <laughs> you really want that dragon ash, don't you? Yes. It's for our friend Katsuko. You say it will help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Katsuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow a hikari banner, isn't she? Yeah, how do you know? Our dragon knows many things. <laughs> Too many things. Okay then, if you clear the waterways, I'll make you some dragon ash for Katsuko. Thank you! Take this, if there's a... Take this, if there's a boulder blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. Uh, scale flint? Sure, but be careful, scale flint knows to cause large reaction. Is that an explosive or something? C4! Uh, yes, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, here goes nothing. Run! <laughs> ah! Okay, that was a close one. Great job. That's it? There's already th everything we need to do? Couldn't she do it by herself? I mean, she's a fucking dragon! Ah, uh, that, that's just me, okay. That's just me. Okay, we flow one. Do we need the other one too? Why is I? Uh, uh, we did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> my souls help me watch that you good and <laughs> job done. Yes, my sources. We did it. From both is blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think it should be a whole mind of the bargain. A moment, please. My halitation. <laughs> well then, here we go. Thank you. See, to eat the Katsuko grows the flower, its fullest potential, it means a lot to hear, you know. Tell me, child, do you know why Katsuko is growing a Hikari Bana? Not really. Mm. Here in the forest, the Hikari Bana is a symbol of great love. They say that it has the power to bring loved ones together, to heal, to bond, to help find someone who had been lost. Oh, perhaps Katsuko is trying to remind her, her husband, of their love, for she feels her, he was forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her, he mentioned her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that they have not spoken in agents. 
They haven't. Because Aburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented. He cannot tell the day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it's a noble thing you are doing, helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. <laughs> Thank you, Stormy. Well, that's... Uh... Oh, we're back here. Oh, it's not the easiest uh, cave that connects to the main one. Main path. Nah. Uh, what well, he has Alzheimer, right? That's a rough illness. Kazuko, got your stuff. Uh, we share your tea. Oh, uh, how did it go? It went great. They all love it. Oh, <laughs> he's here. Welcome, and what do I owe your pleasure to visit? From... Rupert? Milady, the monsieur sent his highest regard. He loved the sample of tea you gave him. We all did. That is wonderful to hear. If it is alright with you, the monsieur would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course, it's alright with me. We'll be in uh, I will begin preparation immediately. You are always welcome to join us uh, on board afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, we will love to join all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. More confident now that the folks around the forest will know of the midnight tea shop. Where should we go? Uh, oh, no, actually, I already have the, the stuff. We got the Dragon Ash! Thank you so much! Well then, I think it's time for me uh, to visit Kisaburo at the hot spring. Now that the Gaborek has come, so the Dragon Ash to help bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's going to love that! Actually, on the second turn, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to personally thank you both for helping us out in the shop. That sounds great. Alright then, let's go. Is he gone? He disappeared! Oh goodness. Where did he go? Kisaburo? Kisa? Kisama? Kisaburo? Kisaburo, where are you? I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisaburo, but uh, I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you like. He probably went to repair his train or something. Okay. I guess we're going to visit Memory Lane very soon. Mom, look! There's a Memory Lane door! You found another door? Where do you think it leads? Nah. Only one way to find out. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go inside the memory lane. Oh, back to the hospital. Well, not much. Hello? Oh, in commanding her. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the episode right now, right here. I'm trying to shorten out the episode because I kind of believe it's starting to get a little bit longer, so I probably divide each chapter twice. So at least we have it all, you know, a little bit shorter, so it doesn't uh, over, over, overwhelm you with a uh, length. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. As usual, feel free to leave a like. Feel free to leave a subscribe or two. And uh, as always, have a lovely day, a lovely evening, and good, lovely night. Thank you.